What's up everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 28 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And we're standing on the snowman's face right now. Now look at him, he's all little and happy and he's kind of royal. He's got a royal air about him. Which is fitting since we're about to go fight King DDD. Oh, you're a mean king. DDD. You're a sleazy, slousy grouch. Oh boy, here we go. This music is awesome, though, I tell you. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? He just got ninja starred with, what is that, a marionette? Oh. Oh, crap. So what are we fighting? Are we actually fighting King DDD or the marionette thing? Ooh, that's a good question. All right, oh, crap. All right, but the idea of this fight is that you got to get these stars that appear when he smashes his hammer. I haven't done this fight in a while, actually, but I do remember the basic gist of it. And then you throw them at him. Pick up the beads, of course. And then I think you gotta do this. Yes! Sweet. So you gotta start tearing off that thing one by one until we freed King DDD. Oh my god! <laughs> he just launched me across the whole freaking stage. Cool. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, watch out for those, like, Goros. That's what those spiky, spiky balls are called, by the way. Can I get him here? No. I think I might have been able to get in there. He looked like he was stunned for a second. Grab the star. Don't let the stars hit you, by the way, because I imagine that wouldn't be too pleasant. Right, man, already up to silver? Are you kidding me? It's crazy. Alright, no, get, let me get over him. Let me get away from him. Huh. Jeez, I got away from him before he launched me across the stage. Sweet. Oh, God. What's he... He's a caterpillar now. He's like that one Pokemon. That's what he looks like. Oh, sweet. That was easy. Alright. Well, we've got three of- oh, three of them! Three of them! Oh my god! How did I not get one there? I thought I hit one, like, dead on the nose. Oh well. Alright, what you got now, King DDD? Oh, he's going to do this again. I can listen to this music all day. There's something about it. It's like- It's kind of just, like, uh, clumsy. It's clumsy music. But it's- oh! It's totally fitting, because King DDD is a big, clumsy guy. Alright, no, let me get my stars, you asshole. Am I oh, oh, okay, I think I got them. Yeah, because remember, after you get get up to gold in a boss fight, you still have to go past that and get up to that uh, that patch part if you want to play the bonus levels in any way. So be careful there. Are you going to use your hammer this time, please? Oh, here we go. Oh, but don't... Oh, <laughs> for a minute I thought I missed that. I thought I just imploded into the ground or something. Oh, crap. I was trying to do my car to go under in there, but... Turned out that walking did me just as well. Alright, come on. Dude, why can't... What? I can't... I can't reach them. I was jumping and flinging my yarn. I can't reach it. Do I have to... I have... I must have to get on top of him while he's, like, still standing after I've stunned him. Because there was, like, a brief period of time there where like, he's still standing after you've stunned him. And maybe I have to jump off that high in order to get him there? That's what it kind of looks like. But I'm always so preoccupied with picking up the beads. Well, I guess I don't have to pick up the beads anymore since I already hit the point that I need to get to. As long as I keep the beads, I should be fine. That attack is like, it's surprisingly deadly looking, but it's actually pretty easy to avoid it all. Come on. Oh, here he goes again! With the mighty Mega Hammer! Alright. This is actually... He actually gets a little bit faster, I've noticed. Okay, he hasn't even spelled out bees anymore, so that's good. Oh, he spells out bees when you do that, though. Alright, one more. One more strand to cut. This reminds me of Puppet Ganon or something. Uh, oh boy, here he goes. Man, he did that hammer attack quick after that. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Can we get him? Can we get him? I, I, I got him. Yes. Sweet. Oh, look, his eyes aren't red anymore. Yeah. We did it! We freed King DDD! Is he gonna join the party now? That'd be cool. That'd be cool if you could play as King DDD, or Yarn DDD, I guess. I don't know. Man. <laughs> that was a pretty good fight. I love that fight, I tell ya. It's, 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 it's a simplistic concept, but... Oh, we got the Penguin Patch! How fitting! That's yeah, a very simplistic concept, but it's executed brilliantly. And with that music, the it. clumsy we music, the it's perfect. Yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. It's been a while since I've seen this cutscene. I remember someone in the comments said that the 
like the narrator for the PAL version of this game, the European version, is even more ridiculous and stupid sounding, which is hard to believe, but the yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and it's a very futuristic looking world we have there. next hmm. whoa <laughs> that's a very dreamland impending sight sky above dreamland on the battleship halberd meta knight had noticed some strange changes in the landscape man that's Patches a and stitching frightening everywhere looking wind. what monster would do such a thing just <laughs> then a powerful laugh filled the sky around him. <laughs> oh no, it's facade! What? Who goes there? Oh no. Yin Yarn Never mind. crashed onto the deck and completely ambushed Meta Knight. Mind if I <laughs> suck it to <laughs> you? Completely. He was standing there for like ten seconds before he did anything, though. Meta Knight was just standing there with his flame like sword that, or whatever that was. Meta Knight was gone. Meta Knight was gone. Now Yin Yarn had Dreamland all to himself. Oh shit. <laughs> With Yin Yarn's victory all sewn up, <laughs> did this mean the end of Dreamland? Well, clearly not, since the, there's a game after this. Return Kirby's return to Dreamland. Does he return from Patchland to Dreamland? Crap. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Well, this is a Kirby game, so I imagine there's a happy end to this story. What do we have next? Spaceland. Oh, man. That reminds me of Bonkers. There's this whole like playground area called Bonkers that, used, that we used to go to as kids, and it was really awesome. It was really futuristic looking, kind of like that space land. Oh man! It's penguins and tuxedos. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, penguins are so funny. Oh my god. Alright, Frigid Fjords. Do we have time for this? We might. This is actually a pretty fast paced level. I'll give it a crack. I'll give it a go. It's hard though. I have practiced it. I probably practiced this more than Mount Slide. And I'm not sure I'm ready for it, but I'll try. I think this might be the one level in the game where they like actually don't give you enough beads before the very end in order to get up to gold. I mean, they probably do. I'm probably just stupid about that. And yeah, we get to use this dune buggy power up again, so this is going to be fun. It's going to be very interesting too. Of course, we got those speed power-ups. I love that. I love how even, like, the sound waves around you when you use that speed power-up are made of yarn. It's just everything is made of yarn or fabric or some variation of that in this game. And it's so great. It's so amazing how they incorporated so much of that stuff. All right, first treasure here, right? Yup. Penguin chest. This sharp dress dresser can dress all- can store all of your tuxedos. <laughs> oh, tuxedos? Why was that voice crack? Jeez. I want to jump over that guy. Careful not to crash into these pillars, because that'll slow you down immensely. Oh, crap. I think I, I probably just lost me the race there. Oh, well. You know, I don't think you need to win in order to get, like, everything. Slay. Now this is a sleigh that it all, that's always ready for a snowy ride through the hills. Cool. Just gotta get some reindeer, and we're good to go. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a reindeer treasure, though. Oh, uh, no, there's not, though, because this is the last snow... Well, actually, no, this isn't the last snow level. There's one more after this, but... I'm pretty sure there's no reindeer treasure. That would be hil that would be silly. You know, Rudolph and his reindeer games. Like, Monopoly. <laughs> that's so silly. That's the, that's the most ridiculous song when you add those, like, ad-lib lyrics to it. Alright, watch out for the spikes, of course. Right here, don't jump. Just do that. I can't tell you how many times I've jumped and missed that and missed all those beads. And it screwed me. And there's the music. This music plays in Snowland. Yup. Oh, shit! Oh, that was... That screwed me. You screwed me, dude! You screwed me! Uh... I think I got second. Yeah, because there's this guy that I never passed. Oh, well. Oh, is this going to be enough to get me up to sil or, or up to gold? Not even up to silver! Oh, no. Well, I'm going to kill my opposition and get a bead for that, too. And we got some beads here. I don't think, it, even if I get the triple one here, it won't be enough to get me up to silver or gold. Let's see. Did I get that right? Did I do it? Come on. Yes. And, yeah, it was silver. Crap. Well, I have to leave this in because I already did the boss fight in this recording. See, normally when I don't, like normally now, when I don't get up to gold or something, or if I miss treasures, then I just restart the recording and go, because I'm at a set time limit here now, so I kind of have to be efficient. But I can go again, I guess. That's a fun level, so it deserves to be seen a second time, I think. 
I don't know if we have enough time to see a second time, though, because didn't we start this at, like, six minutes, and then... Okay, this was the holiday gift patch, right? Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, man, that's cool. Just decorates the evergreens. Love it. Evergreen lift. That level can be... <laughs> There's a lot to deal with in that level. Alright, because I want to, like, do this level again and get gold, but I could do that off-screen. The problem with that, though, is not then anyone who's following along, they wouldn't know exactly, like, what path I would take to get gold. And you can get gold and all of the treasures in this game, in this, uh, in one run of this. I was just being stupid. And you have to kind of get lucky a little bit, too, in this one. And precise, and precise your jumps. But, um, oh, what are we up to? We're up to only, like, 11 minutes here. But I don't have enough time for it. I think I'm just going to have to cut it short, I'm sorry to say, guys. Because um, the next, the first level in Future Land is long, and the that Evergreen Lift level is long. And doing this again would take too long, because I've been battling here for too long. And everything's just too long, and I can't handle it. So we're going to stop right in front of King DDD and his broken battleground. What, what, I wonder where T King DDD went. Because we just, like, we unleashed him from the possession of a marionette thing. So, I don't know. He probably went to find an escape back to Dreamland or something. Who knows, maybe we'll find that out. I don't even know. I'm not even trying to forebode anything there. Because I honestly don't know myself. Anyways, let's just ride the frosty wheel. So thanks everyone for watching. I love you all so much. And this is Argon Matrix. Signing out. Thank you. And good night.